Hi, and welcome to my featured video produced for my blog, The Crossover Woodworker, where I share my three interests of carving, turning, and general woodworking and cabinet making. This project is a, a unique spoon that employs three uh, skills of turning, carving, and routing. This is a special finger joint router bit made to produce the joint that you see here. Normally uh, a butt joint, end to end grain, uh, would be very weak when it's glued. But with this joint, there's a lot of glue surface and it's much stronger. And uh, for commercial use, uh, small short lengths of wood can be joined together with this and then making larger panels uh, for window frames and doors and, and other, other things that uh, can be painted later. I just love to make wooden spoons. They're like making little sculptures that have a real purpose in life and function in the kitchen. Uh, I've always wanted to try to hollow out the bowl, which is a time-consuming part of the project, using the lathe, but it's a little bit dangerous. So uh, I thought if I could just carve out the bowl part and then somehow attach a handle, uh, it would be a better way to go. I had a couple scraps of uh, walnut and butternut, and I thought they might make a good spoon using the walnut, the thicker wood for the bowl, and the butternut for the handle. Here I've uh, produced uh, the bowl part by cutting it out on the bandsaw, and I've added a small glue block on it. And you can see here I've sketched out uh, approximately what the handle might look like for this with the two joints uh, lined up. So after I hollow out and scrape the bowl, then I use a little tight bond three glue, which is waterproof, to put the handle on. I clamp it up for an hour, and then I can just cut it out uh, like I do all my spoons and shape it with uh, a spoke shave and some rasps, and then I do lots and lots of sanding through multiple grids. Here's a, a finished spoon with my uh, oil wax mixture finish. And uh, you can see the interesting joint uh, on the back, the contrast of the two woods. I think this is a great crossover project because it's using three different disciplines that I've learned from and normally are kept separate, but I happen to have interest in all three of them, so I try to join them up together. And uh, in doing that, I've produced a blog called The Crossover Woodworker, and it uh, is a place where I can talk about all my uh, diverse interests of carving and turning and cabinet making. Check it out.